Hi Aries, I am here to do your reading for October, November, and December. Just kind of a little bit of a quick update to see your energies. Okay? And only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. This first card is going to be if there's anything that stands out in the love department, and it can be any kind of love. Okay? What you have is have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. And look at all those butterflies. And butterflies mean transformation. Okay? It's really a beautiful card. Okay, now let's get one for finances, money, career, that sort of thing for the next three months. And again, these are just kind of a general overview. Things can change between now and then. It all depends on your energy. Okay, let's see what this says. Work through your fears. Well, that kind of coordinates with the have faith, doesn't it? Trust your faith in this situation and work through your fears. Okay, now let's get your overall energy for the three months. <laughs> beautiful overall energy the three of water news we're celebrating joyful announcements like engagements weddings pregnancy or graduation a time for gratitude close communities or chosen families well this is a wonderful energy to carry with you for the last part of the year mm-hmm Yes, it is. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get an overall energy for each month. So let's get one for October. And now these three here are kind of overriding the last quarter of the year. But these can fall within that. So no matter what they are, you still carry with you the celebratory energy which is wonderful. Oh, well, me oh my. You have a five of fire. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions walk away from drama unless a situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. And it can also mean very ambitious people. So it could either be a conflict or that you're going to be around some people that are really ambitious. And that could be you, too, that you're very ambitious. Okay, so now let's get the energy, the overall energy for November. These cards are not... Happily shuffling. And that's a little better. Beautiful card. The Ten of Earth. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree. And passing on knowledge. So any or, or all of these could apply to you and your financial overall energy is work through your fears and this includes financial security for yourself and your family it also includes other things but so that might be addressing this it did come out right under it and interestingly this energy came out right under the have faith Okay, let's see about December.
beautiful. You have the knight of water. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet. A sudden love affair. A lack of balance in relationship. Hmm. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. A love of art and poetry. So it could be any or all of these as well. There's a couple that I, I'm not so sure about, but most of them are really, really nice. So, so far, December is definitely a water energy. All right. Now let's take some cards and... See, well, this one went to the fly. Oh, two of them went to the fly right out. They jumped right out. Okay. The one on top is victory. Okay, so if this is a conflict of some sort, you come back victorious. And all these wands, these vertical wands in the background, those are people cheering you on. Okay? So, off to battle and back victorious. So that takes care of that. If that's what it is. Now, if it's an ambition, ambitious person, then that's, you know, something not related, I would imagine. And here is the Two of Cups. And this talks about having... A very important relationship with somebody. And how you see the divine in other people. It's a very, very nice card. You're creating deep connections and partnerships. Based on shared values, compassion, and unconditional love. Nurture these new relationships as they hold potential for the future. Okay? Okay. So that's a great card. Okay, let's get one more card for October. Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords is all about the truth. She's very smart. Very ambitious. And she's really not about the niceties and mannerisms. She wants the truth. And she would like it now, thank you. Okay? So, depending on what this is, if it is... Let's, let me pick this up so maybe you can see it better. If it is a conflict with others caused by opposing opinions... Walk away from the drama unless it's really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. It can also be very ambitious people. So, it is quite possible that this has to do with that. If that's what it was. And it looks like it could very well have been. Truth is paramount with this woman or this energy. You go off to battle... And you come back victorious. So it looks like if that was what was going on, and it could very well be, kind of lends itself to that. That small problem. You went to the truth, you got the truth, went off to battle, came back victorious, done. Maybe it's possible you did make amends because now it includes this relationship that is important. Okay? So let's move on to November and see your energies for November. You have a very nice overall energy. It's very, very nice. And it's kind of uh, nice. Here you have a, a fire energy for October, earth energy for November. And a water energy for December. Your first card out is temperance. You like the idea and want balance and harmony in your external environment. And I think that fits beautifully here.
fast moving positive energy. Okay. One more. Absolutely beautiful. Look at what you have. The Ten of Cups. November looks like it's going to be a beautiful month because you have the Ten of Pentacles, which comes out to be everything that we talked about, plus total happiness and bliss when it comes to your abundance. And this one is total happiness and bliss when it comes to your happiness. And both of these are with everybody you love. They're not solitary. Absolutely beautiful energy for November. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let's get your energy for December. Very nice. You have the High Priestess. And this talks about use your higher self, your divine feminine energy, and your intuition. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened. My SD card just went bluey. But anyway, as I was saying, use your higher power in your intuition. Okay? Now let's get another card. You have the Knight of Cups, which is very, very interesting because guess what this is? It's your overall energy for the month of December. And this is the um, universe's way of saying I meant what I said. So you have it twice, which is, I think, a wonderful energy. I love that energy. You know, when I was a kid, I used to ride bareback on horses almost every day. I absolutely loved it. So when I see this energy, it just brings back wonderful memories, makes me really happy. And um, so playful. So it's, I think, a great energy to have. And here you have celebration. So just awesome. Okay, let's get one more. And look at this, a celebration. Beautiful energy. This is like 1111, a portal. You have two wands on either side, which is what creates the 1111. And then you have this beautiful garland filled with fruits and flowers, abundance. And you go in, and it is time to celebrate. Absolutely beautiful energy for the month of December. Free, fun, enjoyable, what, is it, what else does it say? Romantic, flirtatious, and it has, you know, quite a few other things. But overall impression of the month of December is just relaxed, party, fun, and use your intuition. November, it looks like it has to some to do with... Um, Finances of a very good kind and happiness of a very good kind. And both of these are for you and your family. And it's also very fast moving, positive energy. And you have balance and harmony. So November is going to be beautiful as well. The only potential issue for the next three months would be this one and that might not even be an issue because it might be very ambitious people i do think it does sort of look like an issue but i don't think we need to clarify it because it looks like it was taken care of if there was a problem you wanted the truth you got the truth maybe during this issue and you came back victorious or <laughs> I guess I'm speaking past tense, and this is future. You're coming back victorious. And 
maybe you work it out with that person or people because you develop these really strong relationships. So it looks like your entire last quarter is beautiful. And look at this. I'm fascinated by this card. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Right here. Well, actually for all three months. And all those butterflies are all filled with transformation. So if there was something going on in your life, it looks like it's going to be transformed into something absolutely beautiful. And the one of the cards is, you know, work through your fears. But if you look at this card, you have no worries. Financial security for yourself and your family. So, you are going to have a very nice time over the next three months without having to stress out. Other than this one brief thing, which it looks like you take care of right off the bat. If that is even a thing. If it's a very ambitious person, which could potentially even be you, there's nothing to work through. Right? That remains to be seen. And since it's October now, you'll find out soon enough, won't you? Okay, let's get a few cards from the universe. See what they would like to share. Okay. Strength. So this is one of the cards from the universe, which is beautiful. So if there are any issues in October, you're going to have the strength with you. You'll be able to take care of any problems because you will be plenty strong enough to handle them. Absolutely beautiful quarter. Injustice. So, again, I think it's addressing this. If there is an issue, you will be strong enough to deal with it, and justice will also come into play. If there was something that was done against you, or that was to, you know, to your wrong, justice will make it right. Let's take one more card. Sorry about the SD card. Thank goodness it notifies me or I would have just kept on reading, not knowing. Okay, one more. And look at this. Absolutely beautiful. This is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. It took the very last card and repeated it right there. The Four of Wands. A celebration. All of your cards are just fabulous. Like I said, this is the only potential. And that's even just a potential. And here you are charging in, fixing it, getting the truth. And you have strength and justice on your side. And that's it. The rest of it's fabulous. Congratulations. It looks like... The next few months are going to be beautiful, filled with love, abundance, happiness, fun, relaxation, celebrations. Do use your intuition and do watch out for fast moving energy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Fast moving energy of a positive nature is wonderful, but it can sure tire a person out. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Get ready for parties. Mm-hmm. And much happiness. Okay. Let's get a charm. I love your reading. I want one. <laughs> okay, I never looked, so I don't know. What might we get? 
What is this? Whoops. Oh, it's a compass. This is saying that you are definitely on the right path. I was looking at the back side and there was nothing on it. Yeah, beautiful. You are definitely going in the direction that you are supposed to go. Congratulations. I love this reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it serves you well. Much love. Bye.